First off, I want to thank the uh, brave men and women who work behind the wall. I want to thank them on a national level because their job goes on How recognized. How do they try to turn a guard? Well, President, uh, correction officer, sorry, I apologize. Uh, but correction officer. Uh how are you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji. Welcome to another episode of Tear Talk. Guys, I've been getting messages all day. Now, I'm not going to say specifically what the agency it's coming from. But I will tell you that the messages relate to a high-level executive staff that sends out an email that tells the frontline correctional officers, or pretty much the agency itself, that we need to disconnect from that thin silver line, that thin gray line. And the letter is well written at first, explains what the thin gray line means to us, why we have value for it. But then it goes on to explain what they feel it means to other individuals that don't quite understand what it means to us. Individuals that may tend to be anti-law enforcement. So the sad thing is, is instead of this individual educating people on the meaning, they find it to be maybe easier to go ahead and get rid of the symbol and then maybe adopt another symbol. The sad thing is, first off, that's not going to solve the problem. These people don't really have a problem with the symbol. They have a problem for who the symbol stands for. That's the deeper concern. So what needs to be done is to give people an education on who we are, our values, our integrity, how professional we are, and show them how that relates to the symbol. Defining the symbol by showing the strengths and how that makes us who we are, how we believe in that, because that's what that symbol means to us. That's how you solve the issue. It's not about telling the public that, hey, you know what? What you believe is correct. We're going to go ahead and disconnect from the symbol because it's too controversial. Because that doesn't change anything. Because you're going to create another symbol and they're going to disagree with it. Because at the end of the day, it connects to the people that they just, they don't have a taste for right now goes on and says that the symbol is divisive. It's not. Educate them and tell them how it's not. Your actions right now could be seen as divisive. Because what you're doing right now is you're dividing yourself from your front line. You know, when you're in these high-level positions, your number one focus isn't about where you want to be tomorrow. It's about the people you're supervising now. When people have a problem with that flag, then you go out there and you educate them. You tell them what that flag means. You hang that flag up high. You show staff that you support them and you're going to do what you can to make sure that the public knows that their interpretation of that flag is wrong. Because right now, my loyalty is to you, the front line who risk their lives every day to protect and serve. In my opinion, when you read the letter... And again, they, they mentioned that the divide, the divide is in those actions that you're doing right now. The divide is trying to make a specific DOC symbol that symbolizes this specific agency. Because remember, guys, the thin gray line, that represents all of us. That we're connected on that. You know, that's our representation of who we are in the law enforcement family. Blue's police, gray and silver's us. You're disconnecting us from that. You're disconnecting us from each other. So, I mean, where's the divide really? You know, guys, this is a time to educate. Give people an understanding, not to cave in and fold. Because that's symptoms. At the end, there's still a sickness that has to be healed and you have to get to the root. And the root, root, root is, is by letting people understand what these symbols really mean. And they can only do that by you defending the people that that symbol relates to. Again, it doesn't matter what symbol you use. It's always going to go back to who the symbol represents. So what your job is right now, your priority, 
So hold that flag up high. Let your front line see that you care and tell them. Tell the people on the outside that don't know that have their own interpretation of that flag. It's not what it means. This is what it means. And how do I know? Because I represent these dedicated professionals. And if that's what they believe in, then I have to believe in it too. That's my opinion. As always, guys, the show is tiered up. If you haven't, please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. Bell's going to notify you every time I post my video. Stay safe. Oh!